So for the people who are not familiar with Botashira, it's basically based on Linux. You can make these packs yourself if you want to. You can just do the thing what they are doing over there. But it's more like an all-in-one kit. And what you're going to get is quite interesting. So with the Super Console X series, especially when you're looking at the previous videos I've made with the Android editions, I must say like the Android editions are nice. We have a lot of old stuff from Atari up to Commodore 64 and it's let's say up to PlayStation 1. The Android based versions most of the time run everything just fine. But the thing is like with the mini PC editions, we're going to get more options, especially with Bodocera. So this image contains even like category system, but also like when it comes to different kind of games. But uh, what we're going to do with this video is very simple. We're going to test up the high amp stuff and the reason is very simple. Because we know like the Atari and the real stuff up to PlayStation 1 will run just fine. But if you want to see some more stuff here on the channel, let me know. Because on my second channel, the Wicked Brain Fart, there are like mostly update game lists and other testing videos. But okay, so let's take a closer look at some games and let's see how they're running. Because when you're scrolling through the list over here, it feels like endless. There is so much that you can see. There is so much you can play i think you need like time, time lifetimes to play everything yeah seriously there is so much stuff but okay let's take a close look at it and what are we going to get there is so much so much all right so first up let's play a thomas wave and this is a system that doesn't run that great on Android boxes or any like cheaper devices. But we're having like even a mini beefy system like the Chewy. You can play these games. Okay, so for the next test, I want to try out Nintendo GameCube just to see how it will run on the mini version. The stuttering you see is always something that happens with these boxes. But let's try the game and let's see how the actual gameplay is. Okay, like it has a lot of problems with the beginning of the game. Okay, so let's try the actual game just to see what happens now. But you can hear even in the gameplay when I'm not boosting up a struggle getting f 0 GX to run properly. That happens too when you're having like not enough power. f 0 GX is one of the harder games to emulate. So if you're going to choose a different game that has less problems, it's highly possible that it will run just fine. I played this game a lot on original GameCube and I love this game so much and it's very demanding when it comes to emulation and so a great test. Next up, Cruise in the USA and this game is really demanding and a lot of emulators in combination with the low end stuff have issues with this. Glitches, stuttering. And even with the mini super console, it runs very good. But you need to take into consideration this game doesn't run well on the Pandora's box, on a Super Console X, just a normal edition, the Pro, the Stick, and the Raspberry Pi 4 also has an issue with this game. Okay, so let's go to an other system, PlayStation 1. This is a system that can be played on many different devices nowadays, but still I want to include it in the testing video. So let's boot it up. Let's check the loading times. They will be slightly longer than I again do of the USB connection. Alright, let's go. Let's buckle up. And I think I'm missing out the soundtrack, so the image they are using is not complete. But it doesn't spoil the fun. Gotcha! Hey, 
Super edition of the console PC family. I think it will run just fine. Okay, next up, PlayStation 2. So this is a system that most of the time doesn't even run on low-end devices. Nin Ninken poop. <laughs> that, that's the long. It's a very long time I hear that word, Ninken poops. <laughs> But I say that I'm very surprised to see that this game runs actually pretty decent now. What are you looking at, fuzzhead? You're talking to me? Pfft. Look at yourself, nink and poop. And the loading times again. Loading, 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 loading. <laughs> But I'm surprised that this mini version seems to be running the PlayStation 2 games very well. That was like a very big difference with sound levels between the emulators. But I was expecting nothing of a problem when it comes to Sega Dreamcast. Like with the MELEC, the Android devices, I will run Dreamcast, most games. But a mini PC like this, with some beefy specs, we're going to get no problem when it comes to this normal native resolution. I think you're going to upscale it to 4K and higher resolutions, then we're going to get issues. And you just need a powerful PC for that. Alright, so next up, let's try another game. What's the same with this? I won't expect any big problems. Crap. I have this idea that the controls are all messed up. Ah, there it is. So normally with this move, with a low run system, it will like struggle big time but now no problem at all <laughs> i do hear some struggles when it comes to the music but I don't see the weird glitches that I've seen before with Android boxes. <laughs> <laughs> 